In this problem, a treated effluent is discharged into a natural stream, resulting in combined flow conditions characterized by the following data. The carbonaceous BOD5 concentration is 5 mg per liter. The BOD5 concentration is 7 mg per liter. The ultimate BOD concentration is 9 mg per liter. The effluent temperature is 26 degrees. The upstream stream temperature is 19 degrees. The combined flow temperature is 21 degrees. Additionally, the base reaeration rate constant at 21 degrees Celsius is 0 0.43 days to the minus one. The base deoxygenation rate constant at 21 degrees Celsius is 0 0.26 days to the minus one. The temperature correction factor for reaeration is 1.022, and the temperature correction factor for deoxygenation is 1.045. The stream velocity is 1.2 feet per second. Field measurements show that after three days of travel time, the dissolved oxygen concentration reaches a minimum of 6.4 milligrams per liter. Based on these conditions, the maximum dissolved oxygen concentration in milligrams per liter in the stream is most nearly what when assumed to represent saturation conditions. So in this problem, we are being asked to find the maximum dissolved oxygen concentration in the stream. Searching the environmental reference manual for dissolved oxygen will take us to a section called stream modeling specifically to the Streeter Phelps equation. This is given as follows. D sub C equals K1 over K2 L sub zero E raised to the minus K1 times TC where DC is the maximum dissolved oxygen deficit in milligrams per liter, K1 is the deoxygenation rate constant, base E in days to the minus one, K2 is the reaeration rate constant, base E in days to the minus one, L sub zero is the initial BOD ultimate in the mixing zone, and then TC is the time at which the minimum dissolved oxygen occurs in days. Since we have such a long problem statement, there's a lot to look through, but we can find that all of our terms required are already given. So let's just start filling them in. We're going to be solving for D sub C. K1, our deoxygenation rate constant, is going to be 0 0.26. K2, our reaeration rate constant is going to be 0 0.43. L sub zero, our initial BOD ultimate in the mixing zone is going to be nine milligrams per liter. Then we have E to the minus K1 is 0 0.26 again, and our TC here is given as three days of travel time. Once we solve this out, we can see that DC equals 2.49, almost identical to our first answer in number one. So this problem has a long problem statement, but like many others we've done, it can be solved very quickly if you simply know what equation to look for. So searching for dissolved oxygen in the reference manual will bring us to the Streeter Phelps equation. If we can plug in our terms from there, all we have to do is solve the problem. And that's it.